what's up out there YouTube double D here with Tornage Dubois welcome back today we have this double a figured maple blank uh, it's about 15 14 inches in diameter give or take um, I have an idea on this of what I want to do it's gonna be a surprise um, basically I have a very good friend of mine um, who's helped me out numerous times I've helped him that's what friends do right uh, he insists on uh, thinking he's gonna win by giving me something in return in exchange for helping him out so he decided to give me a gift card to a store I went and bought this piece so now I'm gonna make something and give it to him because nobody owes me anything for help and that's what I do if I help you it's because you're my friend and I care at any rate we're gonna get this made up and uh, go from there so let's get rolling I always make this glue block just a little bit on the concave side so it can hold a little bit more glue, give a little bit better seal that way, and uh, stick to the piece. Um, so yeah, it works out. It has worked out really well so far for me. And I always glue it, stick it down like that, and then I run a bead of the hot glue around the edge as well, just to give a little extra grip. Better safe than sorry, for sure. All right, we'll let that cure up, and we'll be right back.
All right, so for those of you who uh, have watched my channel for a long time, you know that I don't put a lot of recesses in pieces, but because I'm gonna use the tongue wax finish from Brad's, uh, that's a little harder to put on without being on the lathe. It can be done, but then you got a little extra hand buffing. So I had to sand it up to 240 grit, hit it with denatured alcohol. Now I'm at 320. I'm going to use my sanding sealer just to help with the, a second bit of the, the wetting down of the wood for that grain to pop. Uh, we'll get to see that color. It'll seal it up real good, but we'll get really good, a really, really good sanding on that 400 grit and then we'll get a good finish with the Brad's uh, abrasive paste and then the tongue wax. So we'll get this all coated up, let it dry, and then we will get it with the 400 grit and be back with the abrasive paste, but I won't make you watch all that. And we have that sanded up to 400 grit, so now we're going to hit it with our Brad's abrasive paste. There's a link down in the description below to his Etsy store. So go give his stuff a look over and check it out. It is great stuff. But this abrasive paste is the equivalent of around 13 to 1500 grit, give or take. This is an extra fine. Uh, so that diatomaceous earth or abrasive, whatever he uses. There's several different ones you can use, but what he uses comes up to around uh, that level of grit when you're doing the finish on it. So it really helps to get rid of any minor imperfections that might be seen in the piece from sanding and things like that to really give it that ultra smooth finish uh, that you really want on on these pieces that don't have a lot of texture in them. So you just buff it on by hand and then uh, here when you it's got a little bit of a grit feel to it that you can definitely feel as you're working it in and then we'll kick the lathe on usually around 600 rpm is where I shoot for don't need to generate any heat but just doing that allows that to really work into the wood and really smooth that out. So we'll get that going. And then we will get it laser engraved and then we will put our finish on and get it flipped around. I actually slowed this down just a little bit. It's 600 RPM at the center, but with this being 14 inches in diameter, it's uh, significantly faster out here at the side. So it was building up some heat. So I decided to slow it down just a little bit. But you want to work or work it in with the with the rag, and then switch to different portions of the rag. And when the rag come back comes back clean. Uh, then you know you have it all done. And I just tend to hold my wrist just for a little bit of extra support. Because with this moving around and spinning, it's definitely going to want to move my hand around. So see, it's coming back pretty clean now. So we'll just continue with this portion, get the rest of this thing, give one more quick pass. Get it engraved, then we'll get the finish on. All right, we have that laser engraved. So now we're gonna use our tongue wax finish from Brad's. And this you put on well, you can do it any way you want, really. What I typically do is I will put it on relatively liberally, and then I will let it set for at least 15 minutes, and then I will come back and I will get that at speed, buff that off on the lathe, and get that uh, wax to just melt in with a little bit of the heat from the friction that's used with the lathe at around, uh, I started out usually around three to 400, normally on pieces and then I'll kick it up higher. With this one, I don't know that I'll have to go much above 
600 RPM because that's where I started out with the abrasive paste and was getting decent heat uh, for that to, to get hot. So that should be fast enough to melt it in on this piece because of the size. And this finish, uh, like the tongue honey, this is a food safe finish. Uh, so you definitely want food safe finishes on anything that could be used around food. So definitely pay attention to that with the uh, finishes that you're looking at on using on your pieces. We're going to leave that to sit and we will be back. And now we'll get that flipped around, start hollowing it out.
All right, we have that sanded up to 240 grit. So we're gonna do this just like we did the outside, 240 uh, denatured alcohol, uh, 320 grit. Then we'll do the sanding sealer. Then we will get uh, 400 grit and our finish applied. Uh, that turned out silky smooth on the outside. So I'm looking for the exact same type of feel on the inside of this piece too. But the curling in this is super nice, really happy with it. There's a little bit of chatoyance to it too, which is that flash you get uh, with the light. You could probably see that when I was finishing buffing the outside of it, but I'm sure we'll see some more of it on the inside. So let's hit it with our 320 grit, and then we will get our, uh, our sanding sealer applied and go from there. And time for our Mylan sanding sealer. Before I hit this with the 400 grit, I do knock it back with the uh, little bit of the Scotch Bright pad, just so that it doesn't clog up the sandpaper when we're sanding this back. So if you've ever used sanding sealer and then you see your sandpaper really clogging up, it's either still a little bit wet or uh, you just there's a lot on there. So just keep that in mind as you're doing your piece that uh, if you can knock it back a little bit, it'll help keep that sandpaper from clogging up just a little bit. Let that dry, then we'll come back. Now we're gonna get our tongue wax applied, let it sit, and then we'll be back to finish it. Hey everybody, welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that project where we took that piece of double A quilted maple and we turned our chip and dip platter. So the curling in that is absolutely amazing. You get the little bit of that chatoyance in the wood as it turns, you get that little tiny flash of light. Finished with the tongue wax from Brad. I have a little bit of a wide foot on it just so it'll sit real nice. Got, got the logo burned on there with the laser engraver absolutely happy with how this turned out so this like i said is a gift for a friend because they wanted to try and pay me back for me being a friend that's not how i roll but uh i took that money bought this piece of wood and uh made this for them so this is for you you know who you are just know that you're an amazing friend you have been for a long time and i appreciate you if this is your first time here, please do consider subscribing. If you like the video, mash that thumbs up. If not, mash the thumbs down. Leave a comment, feedback down below. I appreciate each and every one of them. And uh, those are how I grow and learn. So I appreciate it, and we'll catch you all next time.